Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to look at transformations in PyTorch, especially to the image part. Um, the reason for making this particular video is in the next video, we will be making CNN. We will be using CNN. So for that, you need to have some understanding of transforms. However, in the next video, we will not be making a use of a lot of transforms, but still you need to have these because after that, we will be uh, doing some projects where uh, we will have to use these transforms. So it is a very important topic and so let's get started. So the first thing that I need to do is import the data. I have already written the code. Uh, you can go and search on my channel how to download data sets from Kaggle. So I have already written the code. I'm just going to um, you know run this particular cell and copy and paste and then run so that I can download the data really really quickly and straight away get to the point of the video. So for that I have to download this data set and then unzip the zip file and also unzip the training dot train dot zip. So after having done that, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to basically import all the libraries. We are going to import the libraries. So in this case, the libraries that we will be importing are um, okay. This has complete. So the first one that we need is OS. Um, the second one we need PIL. So from PIL import image. This is for reading the image. And then we will be importing torch as usual. Okay, import torch, import torch, and then we will be importing um, torch dot transform. So from torch vision, import transforms. Okay, transforms. So we will run this cell. And now what we are going to do is we are going to find all the images. So the way we do it is we say list dot. Basically, whatever image we have in our data set in our um, train data uh, train folder so we will just take it and you see write it over here so let's print some of them uh, let's print the whole list and see and see so we have cat and then you have like a number and jpeg and then you also have some dogs so cat and dog data set so this is a very famous data set for and this is like the beginners version of computer vision in data, uh, deep learning in PyTorch. Okay, so the point of the video is to make transforms. So first what we are going to do is we are going to actually create the data set. We will not create the data loader because we are not training anything, but we will create the data set so that we can at least use the get item function and get the uh, images. So we will say cost that cost that and then use utils dot data dot data set and then we will say def init and then let's just say self and what we are also going to give is all images okay and then we'll initialize all all images as all images and after that we will need to in this case we don't really want but still you know we should give it the len function again we do not need to give the len function however just to be consistent that was the point okay so all images okay now we need to give the most important function definition that is get item so we will say idx and then this thing okay so what we need to do is given an index given an idx we need to first pull the image so the image names are in the all images list so we will say all self dot all images idx so we will get the name so first let me print the name itself and then what we'll be doing is we'll be doing the fetching of the data and then all of that so images dot get item get item and let's just pass zero okay for the first time so we will we have we see that the particular images this cat dot 10681 dot jpeg whatever so after having gotten this we need to get the image so we will say image dot open from the pil library and we need to pass in the path so first we will say we will give the path like this and then put a slash and after that we will say image underscore name so this will give us the image 
so we will just return the image to see what we have gotten hopefully an image will be displayed okay this is the image fine now what we need to do is now what we are going to do is we are going to pass transform okay now we are going to the most important part i'll say transform and initialize it at none okay and now we will define the transform but before that okay first let me define the transform itself so we are going to say transform now you can use it you can this is a variable so you can use you can use tran trans trans whatever this is a variable okay but the other one transforms this is what we have imported from torch vision you can see over here transforms dot compose now what is the use of compose compose is basically used to have lot of transformations uh, stacked as a list okay transformations and what you are going to do is you are going to hit enter so once we have hit enter uh, go away okay so the first transformation that we need is something called as horizontal flip transforms again there is a difference transform and transforms transforms has been imported transform is our own variable why haven't i use any other variable again i have been using it for a long time so this is what i do so we will say random horizontal flip okay and inside you have to pass a probability um, ideally you just pass 0.5 or 0.3 whatever out here i'm going to pass a very high one because 0.9 because i have to show you in the results i have to show you the results to make a point that yes these things work so the second one that we are going to do is okay first of all what does horizontal flip do basically if you have your hand if you like you look at your palm and then you flip your palm that is horizontal flip okay oh, i know it's not that intuitive right now but when i'll show you the results you will see it for yourself okay so the second one is random rotation now there are many okay i'm not going to uh, show you the official page of transforms in pytorch but there is uh, i'll give you the link in the description okay i can do that so i'll give you the link in the description so that you can use those transforms you can read them they are very very easy okay what is random rotation obviously you rotate by some degree so Im image is there and then you just rotate it okay the third one that we are going to use and this is very important okay the resize because all of our images are of different sizes so we need to bring them to one size so you have to open double brackets 360 comma 360 okay so we have resized it till here the last one that we are going to do is torch dot transform dot tensor two tensors so what this does is it basically converts the pil image because we have imported p from pil dot image to that pytorch tensor everywhere we have to convert it into a format so that it can be fed into the model and what can be fed into the model pil image cannot be fed you have to convert it into a tensor and then we are going to give it to the model and then only the prediction can take place okay so this was our all of transform there can be many i'll give the link in the description where you can see the number of uh, the page itself where there are so many transforms i am just using the basic ones okay that i generally use um, but it depends on the problem also now the reason of transforms you know the reason of transform is to overcome overfitting so you know i'll make a separate video that how transforms uh, you know undo the effect of uh, you know learning those features that are not very relevant so it does by bringing in variants that are actually important okay so we have done that and here what we are going to say is we are going to write an if statement okay and that's why we have said transform equal to null so if transform okay first let me initialize it self dot transform equal to transform so if self dot transform is not none okay so which means that we have given some transform we will say image equal to self dot transform of image okay so we will save it back into image after this what we are going to do is we are going to return it we are going to return the image itself and then we are going to um print it fine and here let me give the transform so you see we have given item of zero why is this giving an error transform is already run right let me run it transform is not defined 
it was not defined i did not turn it transform tra uh, transform okay transform f o r m so a little bit of spelling mistake there so transform hopefully now it should run okay so it has given us a uh, not an error it has given us the tensor now to do now to do get that image back what we have to say we have to give another transform transforms dot to capital p i l capital i m a g uh, capital i m a g and then hopefully this should do it fine so you see and this is the uh, transformed image now let me show you the real image we can do that by actually using the same thing but instead of using transforms i'll just leave it i'll not give transform so when you are not giving anything obviously what will happen is this none will be taken this line won't work and you'll just get the bare image so this was the bare image this was the real image now what are the things that are done over here with a 90% probability 0.9 you have done a horizontal flip now how can you justify horizontal flip look at this cat its legs are on our right hand side however if you see the legs are in the left hand side here second one even if you like comment this out okay and then again do the same thing you may think okay it is due to rotation so let me prove a point no it is not due to rotation you see the leg is in the right it is pointing to our left right hand side the cat is looking the white cat is looking to our our right however here the white cat is looking towards our left so it has run this particular cell okay um that's why i have removed the i had removed the uh, i had rather commented the random rotation and then you can also see the rotation how you can see the the image over here is straight this this cat is straight these two cats are in a particular direction this cat is now you can see obviously the image has been rotated okay now another thing you can see is resize so this particular uh, image is smaller than this particular image okay so this particular image i don't know what's the size but now this we have resized it to 360 okay this is very very important because if you are going to train a cnn network you cannot uh, ideally you should not Uh, send images of different uh, dimensions okay you can however you should not you will have problem in the data loader part and there are other problems as well so it is the best practice to have all the images of same sizes okay so that is this one now toss dot tran uh, two tensor is basically used to um, convert it from the pil format or np dot array format uh, means but numpy format to a tensor format okay so uh, pytorch dot tensor so that we can use it in training so you can see these are the transformations and if you want to have another look at another uh, image let's say 101 okay we are going to do 101 so this particular this looks like a dog now this was the transformed image now let's say 101 the reason why i have downloaded the entire data set is because i wanted to show you many examples okay i could have like uh, given you a like 10 images of transformed 10 images of not transformed but then it would have been a, a very very cluttered that's why let's take another number let's take um, 853 okay and uh, let's see what we get so we get a image of a cat itself okay and then 853 853 if we get the original image we see again those transformations you know this cat is now its head is in the right side here it is in the here it is in the left side you can see some rotation also and other things so i'll give you the link of the uh, official documentation for transform in the uh, in the description you can go and see there are many many transforms over there okay so comment section you can ask your questions and instagram you can ask questions in instagram i mostly you know, check many times a day so if you ask there there's a high probability i'll be answering your question fiverr gig if you really want a one to one discussion on any of the topics in computer science or you want some discussion on a project you're stuck with the project any of that deep learning machine learning computer vision nlp blockchain all of those things if you want some help you can definitely go and you can you know chat for a couple of minutes and get your doubts sorted out so thank you very much and bye